Hey, what is up? Today I'm heading thrifting, no surprise, kind of excited. I haven't been thrifting very much recently and just because I have so much inventory to list still. I got 15 items listed this morning, did some laundry, got a few things done. I'm gonna reward myself with a little thrift trip and I'm bringing Lena along with me. I love bringing my kids. They have their own unique like twist on fashion and they're definitely in that younger demographic. And I told her, we're gonna find some Y2K things. So I'm gonna take her help. Let's see what we can find because we're going thrift shopping. <laughs> Yep. No, no, I don't because it's not big. I like um bigger ones. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, nothing like the Starbucks ones. What else? They're true outdoor wear. I don't know if that. That's cute. How much are they? Nine dollars. Yeah, yeah. And I oh my gosh, those are cute. I don't know what the brand How is. How much are they asking? Eight dollars. Yeah, let's give it a shot. All right, let's go over the items that we're not grabbing. Just a few. Lots of keeps today. Lots and lots of great pieces, and we'll cover those when we get home. All right, first item we're leaving are these Aritzia Community Linen Shorts. They are itty bitty, like so, so short, kind of an older style, lower rise, just not gonna grab them today. This next pair is a pair of Lululemon Shorts. Lena had grabbed them. They are an older style and uh, they're 20 bucks, kind of overpriced. The size dot didn't have any letters or numbers. These next shorts are Cavu, I don't know how to say that <laughs> brand, but we're gonna grab them. This is an expensive brand and we'll go over some comps later. And then this next piece she had grabbed, but uh, I thought it was vintage, but it was Veramoda, which is totally fine. Still a nice piece, just not vintage and what we're looking for. Let's head home and go over the thrift haul. All right, done. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to go through all the awesome pieces that we found. That was one of one of my best thrift trips, I think, recently for just like cool vintage pieces. I got a few modern, but like lots of vintage, lots of 80s probably, some 90s, and some early Y2K. And I did find quite a few things, but we were in a hurry and I couldn't show you guys everything. So we're just gonna go over what I found. Lena was my helper. <laughs> And yeah, I'll see you at home. Hey guys, all right, I am back. Gonna go over this thrift haul. Found some fabulous pieces, fabulous pieces. I'm pretty excited. As usual, I'm not gonna waste any of your time. Let's get this started. First item that I found, you guys saw a sneak peek of these in the thrift haul. These are some AS98 boots. If you haven't seen them, how do I show you? 
There you go. That's what the brand looks like. They have some telltale signs. Usually they're kind of a slouchy fit. They almost always have this cork looking sole and they very commonly have something funky going on. They really remind me of that steampunk kind of look. They're quirky. They can be any color. Yeah keep your eye out for these and once you do some brand research into them you'll know what to expect and what you're looking for i can usually spot these out on a top shelf now lickety split no time at all sold comps on them typically are pretty good i'm expecting i'll be able to turn these around for hopefully over a hundred dollars i don't know because these are a suede style they're not the leather style which i usually find but I think they're pretty cute. I think these are really cool. They'll, they should do well. Next up, you saw these shorts in the thrift haul. Lena found them. They are, I think it's called mink pink, 80s style short. I love the color block, the neon colors. I'm excited about these. I don't think they're gonna bring me a lot of money. They should do pretty good. Actually, I might even show them to Emika, see if she wants them before I list them. These were a really cool item and I found them actually in the athletic wear section, which I thought was weird. They are Azure Femme pants and to me, oh no, they're missing a button. Oh, I'm gonna bring them back. I'm not sewing a button on these. I don't even have an extra button kicking around. I'm so disappointed. Oh, darn, okay. Whatever, the reason why I picked these up, they are a vintage style, they're high-waisted, they have a taper leg. I like the color, that kind of earthy uh, green color, but uh, yeah, they kind of had that vintage look to me, kind of like that 80s style, 80s or 90s, probably more 80s. Ugh, I'm so disappointed about that button though. These next two pieces I grabbed because of Lena. So she was talking with me about Lululemon and TikTok and all the things that are trending right now. And she was like, mom, you need to buy studio pants because they're trending again and you can't find them on the website anymore. And I was like, well, studio pants are pretty old. But anyways, we found these beautiful, almost in perfect condition, white studio pants. They're in her size. Actually, the only thing I'm seeing right now is like some pink discoloration but I'm gonna try and stain treat that but yeah excellent condition these are a lined pant I don't know what else to say she was pretty excited about them I, she's gonna keep these ones I'm not reselling them I have a feeling they will hit my closet probably in six months when she no longer wears them very interesting to know so I'm gonna have to start watching some of those TikTok trends for dials and see what is trending right now and what people are looking for that would probably be a good item to list on to Depop as well, because I find a lot of those kind of, you know, 2000s styles are really popular on there. Next item is a pair of Lululemon, just kind of like wide leg lounge pants. This was another pair of pants she recommended. She was there in next to new condition and a size six tall so she recommended them she's like mom wide leg pants are really in style right now these were in such good condition no pilling because we did find some really cool pieces that she was like if they weren't so pilled uh, you should grab these and take a chance on them most of them and it's like beyond pilling like they're in awful condition i don't know if i could revive them with my magic and that's saying something because I revive a lot of pairs of pants. Uh, next up, I found this yellow Northern Reflections knit sweater. I love the style of it. This is very 90s to me with that like single tie, very spring. I think this would look cute with either just kind of a bras, just bras underneath. I think this would look cute with like a white cami or a white kind of tube top, whatever. It's still that kind of vintage early 2000s look. Of course, it kind of hits that grandma style or grandma core that I absolutely love. I also found this cool neon green Maui sweater. I don't know if this is going to hit the closet. Lena does want to try it on and see if it fits her, but I think it's going to be too short. She's got pretty long arms and body. Yeah, I think this is going to be too short for her. Cute piece, so keep an eye out. This may hit the closet still in the next week. Oh, and I just love the embroidery on it. 
so cool next piece is this vintage ispo i don't even know what brand it is i think i i picked up and sold items by this brand and it's like a pink hot hot bright pink windbreaker like i don't know longer jacket you know the ones that have kind of like that drawstring in the waist i love this style honestly the video does it no justice it is the most beautifulest coolest 80s pink that you could imagine this jacket is a total vibe and i will have it listed in the next day or two for sure love it i also grabbed or actually these are a pair of shorts that lena found i'm gonna pop them up so this is a brand you should keep your eye out for and i'm gonna show you what the brand retails for the brand is called cavu i think is what it is can you guys see that on the bottom there yeah so we see this brand a lot when we're out in the mountains it's uh quite expensive i think i was looking at a pair of overalls from them that was about 150 dollars 100 cotton not linen uh really soft super comfortable but yeah this is a brand that i would keep my eyes out for and i'm grabbing these shorts strictly on the brand not necessarily the style this is a this is a nice brand i grabbed this sweater for myself it's the brand is kenar and i don't think it's i'm not sure maybe I, it's not a brand i'm familiar with i do see it often in the thrift store i usually don't grab it this has only been probably worn a couple times a ziploc bag with extra thread is the reason why I grabbed it is 31% wool and 26% alpaca. And I'm just gonna back up. It's like an oversized kind of knit sweater. To me, this is such a cute piece. Oh, I don't know if I like that part of it. Anyways, it's such a cute piece to wear out in spring. I can wear it with jeans and just kind of a white shirt. This item is definitely for myself oh it's so soft and fuzzy the video really doesn't do it justice <laughs> i love it though i love it and the last piece that i grabbed today is this kind of quirky i don't know how to describe it like all these things are kind of knit into the design and then some of it's like embroidered on it I just love the earthy kind of southwestern look of it and i think it's cotton i love picking up cotton pieces oh so it's 19.95 that's cool it doesn't say i am 99 percent sure that this is a cotton rainy blend sweater that's the items i found pretty excited i think this thrift trip like that jacket alone, I should be able to get 75 for. The boots, I'm hoping to get 100 for. Yeah, just kind of quickly looking through this, it's probably 400, maybe $450 that I should be able to get in sales from these items. And I spent 70 and 40, 110. I'm looking to double or triple my investment. I feel like these are all pretty safe pieces and that they should do good in spring. I also wanna address the elephant in the room. Let me come a little bit closer. Let's talk about the changes in Poshmark, the algorithm. Um, I don't know, sales have been a little bit slow for me as well. I know I've been getting comments from people and really like up until this week, I feel like my sales were relative to what I've been listing. I haven't been listing that many items. We've been just really busy the last month. If I look at it in that aspect, I feel like I've still had good sales. I just haven't been listing very many items that I would normally list. So say in a normal week, I'm listing, I don't know, 50 to 70 items. And in the last couple of weeks, I'm listing 15 to maybe 30 in a week. So my listings have cut in half. I'm also doing very specific items. Like my thrifting has really kind of narrowed down into certain items that I'm looking for. And I don't take as many chances as I used to. Now, that being said, my sales for the month, I believe are around $2,500, which is a little bit down than it normally is but still isn't crickets by any means. Uh, it's just slower than what my closet usually gets. Now, 
there's some things that we need to think about. Uh, I know I want to say right away it's Poshmark, it's their algorithm, it's the changes, everything that's going on with them, but I don't actually believe that 100%. Uh, I do believe that there's a lot of things going on right now in the world that is having an impact on our economy. Uh, I believe, you know, just the price of gas, things like that. Like there's the cost of living and the inflation right now is just so bad. So maybe someone had an extra, you know, 50 to $100 on a paycheck that they were putting towards going shopping. Uh, but I feel like people are being a little bit more conservative with their spending right now because like groceries, going out to eat, driving to work, all those kind of things are costing more. I think there's multiple factors into what's going on. I do think that I do believe there are some changes going on in Poshmark. I did read an excerpt today that they are admitting they made some changes in the search. They retracted it. They um, updated it, I guess, made some changes, listened to the community and re-pushed out that new um, algorithm, like that search engine that they're using or how they're changing their search relativity. I don't know what I think about it so far. It's still early to say whether this is good or bad. I do believe they're going to continually evolve their app. And that's the thing when we're selling on apps, we have no control over what they do. We're just users. I mean, we are sellers on there, but we're users of the app. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I think that if this is your sole income and you only sell on Poshmark, this is probably the point. And I mean, I said this like a month ago, this is the point where you start looking at other platforms. This is the point where you consider cross-listing your items. If you are running this as a business and you're trying to create a stable income from this, you need to be in other areas. You need to have other streams of income. You cannot rely on one app because if something were to happen and Poshmark app disappeared tomorrow, your entire business would disappear. So you're putting all of your business into someone else's hands, if that makes sense. So I really recommend cross-listing. I'm going to put a shameless plug in here. I use Prime Lister. I love them. They work on all the Canadian platforms, which doesn't happen with the other cross-listing applications. So definitely a plus if you are Canadian. If you live in the States, it works on the American sites as well. I just always have to say about the Canadian site because I struggled to find a cross-listing application that worked on the Canadian sites. And I knew right away that I wanted to cross-list more. I just didn't want to start from scratch on every listing, you know, transferring, transferring them over to eBay or Etsy, and I've really dropped off Depop, but I think I'm gonna start cross-listing some of my stuff. Uh, I've been thrifting quite a few pieces that are kind of like that 80s, 90s, early Y2K, and I think I'm gonna start cross-listing them over to Depop and giving Depop another chance. All right, that being said, I'm out of here. There's my two cents on what I think is going on. I mean, it's just my opinion, honestly, there's no weight to it. Just kind of the thoughts that run through my head. I try not to focus too much on outside things and things that I can't control. What I can control is sourcing smart, getting quality pieces, taking good pictures, and starting to put my eggs in other baskets. If you have any questions or you wanna start cross-listing and you don't know where to start, drop in the comments, let me know, tell me what you guys want. I did do a video on shipping for eBay and Etsy, but I can do other videos if you guys need some help with this. All right, I'm out of here. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm wishing you all many sales and I will see you next time. Bye.